morning. It's Barbara. Happy Advent 20th of December. Dennis is coming up from the basement. We've been talking about what we're going to have for dinner when Christy's here. She comes tomorrow. And, uh, and I am not early today like I normally am. I got bored last night and picked up a book to read and that was the end of that. So I stayed up too late. I got up later. Dennis made me a cafe Americano for the bedroom and anyway. But since I don't put this up right after I talk to you first thing in the morning, it doesn't really matter and probably doesn't feel very different to you. A couple things going on today. I have to get the upstairs ready. Um, and only because I have to do it is it a chore because I have to organize my yarn and get it back in my craft room so Christy can have a bed to sleep on. That's what I have to do today. I mean, poor me, I have to cuddle my yarn. So I think I'm gonna put it back in the same sort of order that I had it originally, um, which is, fing you know, by weight of yarn and then in color combinations, this, you know, like all the neutrals in one place and you know, that kind of thing. But part of the reason for taking it out was it had gotten really messy and part of it was I forgot what I had. So I will be cuddling it and I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to make a note of things, probably not. Um, but if I get it organized in a way that it will help me search through it when I'm looking for my next project, then that'll be good. So that's the plan for today. Get the upstairs organized and do a little bit of shopping because we've been thinking about the food thing while Christy's here. Um, Christmas Eve is our big Christmas celebration ever since I was a little girl. And we, are ha we always have the same thing. We have spare ribs. We have party salad. I guess we'll make uh, like a cauliflower cheese, cauliflower casserole to go with it and it's just gonna be the four of us, Aura and Christy and Dennis and me. So, you know, we don't wanna go too overboard on the food, but we wanna make sure that we have a celebration. So I need fixings to make party salad and I'm thinking I might make mutter paneer. Um, maybe I'll make that tomorrow with the idea that Christy and Ali, Christy and I are going to State College to visit my parents on Wednesday. And so we're gonna go for lunch and have lunch with them, but we'll want something when we get home. And my turpaneer would be something good and then Dennis wouldn't have to worry about what time we were coming or anything like that, so. Anyway, so I have some cooking I wanna do and um, which will involve some shopping, although Dennis might do the shopping, I'm not sure. And I'll be upstairs. And Chrissy will come tomorrow sometime, probably in the afternoon. She said, I just watched her floss tube yesterday and she said she was gonna try to do a floss tube Tuesday morning, so she's not gonna leave her dad's at the crack of dawn. She'll get here in the afternoon, probably around lunchtime or even a little later. I think, uh, I think they're about two hours from us now because they moved, so. Anyway, that is the upcoming plans. But today we'll be cuddling yarn. And, you know, getting her bathroom ready. That kind of stuff. Tiny little present. This is day 20. Holy cow. Oh, and here's what I gave Megan in her advent for day 20. She was very careful to say, you have to show this one because I made her... I sent her a set of um, cards, note cards, not Christmas cards. So I wanted to send her things that I had made, but I haven't been out in my studio. Ooh, I love it. This is an earring year. Thank you so much, my dear. Oh, I think this is um, Alice in Wonderland. This is the Caterpillar Anna. How cute. Caterpillar on the um, mushroom. And and the back is cute too. I mean, it, the, the caterpillar goes all the way around. <laughs> so it's the, there's his face right there. How cute. Thank you, my dear. I love them. Love, love, love them. You know me. I love earrings. Cute. So cute. <sighs> I have the little... 
I have the little skeins of yarn, sh sparkly skeins of yarn that Marina sent me last year that I made into earrings, and one of them says 2021 on it, and I'm thinking, I'm wearing those for New Year's Eve to say goodbye to 2021. I'm really got, I'm really hoping 2022, although <laughs> it doesn't bode well. The more we hear about Omicron, the more worrying it is. So. I bought the I bought some test kits and now I'm very concerned because the initial um, reading is that quite a few of the test kits don't don't identify Omicron, so that's kind of disappointing. I mean, well, it's very disappointing. So I'm not sure. Who, I'm not sure all our plans are going to work out with the testing and everything but better to have tests than not look at this gorgeous 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 color okay so this may be next i i got bored last night working on my sock and nothing on tv and that's why i started reading a book okay all right there you go right there a little very bright in between and then we'll see where we go from there oh my gosh i love it love love Love. Oh, Megan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then today, so today when I'm relaxing, I can work on my cowl because it's a little more interesting than the. Listen to me, I sound like a knitter. <laughs> Crazy, right? So there you go. There's my color in the bag already. Thank you, my dear. It is gorgeous. Oh, and here's the charms that I gave the granddaughters. We got our. We got our present from Jason in the mail yesterday, and Dennis said, should I open it? And he, and I thought he was talking about the outer envelope, but he was talking about the package on the inside. So we already opened our Christmas present from the kids, which is the calendar. I will show that to you another day. This, These little stickers were inside the pearl stitch and witch so she gave me a crossbow for one and now an arrow <laughs> on a bulb pin so I now I need a project that needs a lot of uh, stitch markers there we go my collection is growing Okay, so there's my advents and a uh, little bit about what's going on in the next few days. But I had a really, we had a really nice visit with my brother and my niece. My sister-in-law did not come. And uh, Ella has been moved out of her apartment in at school and is not scheduled to go back until the fall. Let's keep everybody keep your fingers crossed because i think she has about three weeks and then she's supposed to fly to france and have her semester abroad in france and i hope she can do that but i don't know omicron is scary they keep saying it's milder i hope that's true but it's also really going crazy so anyway let's hope that she can go and let's hope it's safe for her to be in Paris and uh, wishing her well but it was fun to and Dennis made a delicious dinner via uh, pork with sauce piquant and it was delicious and uh, we had made a um, key lime pie and that turned out to be delicious too, although it was a different recipe than we had tried before. And uh, and we liked it. I think we're gonna do the old crust with the new, so we'll see. But um, we'll have to do some desserts too because uh, Christy can't eat Splenda, and I'm sure this pie was made with Splenda, so we'll do something else. But anyway. So, I'm off to start working on my day. Well, you know, eventually. <laughs> but I'll show you the bed before I start. Don't worry. Okay, this is what the room looks like now. I gotta take my racks down. 
There's the bed. That's some Christmas stuff in the boxes and some beads. Those will go in the closet. And all this yarn has to go back in my room. And this yarn is a pile of lovely yarn that may end up as prize packages, but either way, it's got to be moved. This someday is going to be something. I don't know if I've ever showed you this yarn. This is a boucle and a mohair that are the same color. And in my mind, I have them together in kind of a vest. I'm not sure. There's a thousand yards of each of them. So we shall see. I bought this yarn at my first Maryland Sheep and Wall, which was quite a few years ago. I bought the craziest things. The craziest things. So here you go. Here's my job today. We'll see. I do feel like I had a plan when I first moved everything into this room. But whatever that plan was, got completely jacked. These are my sock yarns. Isn't that pretty? This is beautiful yarn that Benta dyed that Valerie gave me. And that's sock. It's a sock set. Guess what? I've been doing socks. So I guess I'm not really sure. I think I'm just going to load my basket here. And then when I get into my craft room and have to put it away, I'll try to figure something out. Part of my problem is some of things are wound, some things are not. This is my dog's drawing it. So this is Stephanie's, Stephanie's couch color. <laughs> she that uh, Jake made as a present for um, Rebecca to give to Stephanie for her birthday. She needed, she made a sweater out of it. This is some gorgeous, gorgeous silk yarn that I bought years ago. Of course, I bought all this years ago. Um, there was a beautiful shawl on Instagram or Facebook. And it was made out of those two colors of um, art yarn together. And this is like crazy gorgeous silk, silk yarn. And this is my Flame in Fiber. Flame in Fiber by Jake. I have socks made out of that, but I have another. I gave a skein away in the not too distant past. This is my naturally dyed yarn that I love so much from the ladies at um, New Jersey Sheep, no, Maryland Sheep and Wall. And this is some beautiful yarn. I don't think all of these are the same though, now that I say that. Maybe they are. No, no, this is knit crates. This is knit crates. This isn't, this isn't what I was thinking of, but it's pretty. Anyway, I'm going to start putting things away. We'll see what happens. Thank you, sweetie. Dennis just rescued this from the yard. Maisie came in, and when she left so directly, I thought, okay, she's going after something. I have a sweater's quantity of this. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to make another summer sweater. I don't really wear the ones I have. Might have to make it for someone else. Or maybe 50% bam, bamboo cotton would be a prize. Let's see. 50 grams, 110 meters. 220 meters for 100 grams, but it's heavy because of the cotton and the bamboo. Is that a DK? I don't know. Might be a fingering. I'll have to check it. Well, it didn't actually take very long. This is my last basket from the bed. I still have to put the clean sheets on and get it ready. And then I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the things I have determined are prize, prizes in their next life. This is not a prize. 
this is going to be something. <laughs> but I haven't found a pattern yet. So a little more straightening. This is the box that Christy left here on, uh, for her wedding so she can take it back. She drove. And uh, she didn't have room in her car in September. But hopefully she'll have room. Hopefully she remembers that she left her box here and she can take it. So anyway, a little more straightening, but actually made good progress. And here's how things are looking before I put that basket in. But looking pretty good. The rest of the room is a disaster. Chrissy's hoping to sew. When she gets here, she has to help make, she's making kind of a costume for her Christmas celebration. So there's more work to be done, as you can see. So that's the end of my keeper yarn. So I'm thinking I might do some repositioning and um, make one of these bins my giveaway. My giveaway yarn because I obviously have more room. I'm not buying more, although every one of those bottom things is completely full. And I have a stash of stuff over here that needs to be taken apart because I consider it stash. So I'll have to think about it. But meanwhile, I found a needle. <laughs> random, random, random. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break now because now I'm tired. But the bed's clear. Step one. Here I am getting ready to move my files and start my editing, and I forgot to say goodnight. So um, the dogs are fed and walked, and I've had a little something to eat, and... I have my corpse reviver, so I should be revived. <laughs> the bed is clear. Tonight I will put the clean sheets on it and swish the toilet and we'll be all ready for Christy. And I'm looking forward to seeing her tomorrow. And so I will say good night. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please, please stay safe and stay sane. <laughs>